Okay, so reason number 18. Check this out. Oh, so you want to you wanna marry a divorced woman after God then told you not to? Oh, so you want to piss God off, huh? And you think that he's going to bless you? You think so? You think he's gonna be he's gonna be by your side when things are going bad in your marriage, right? You you think you're gonna get on your knees, right? And you're gonna ask God for help? He gonna be looking at you like, boy, are you nuts? What you freaking nuts? I told you not to, right? But no, your dumb ass, look at you now. You got all kinds of problems in your marriage, and now you are gonna run to me talking about, oh God, help me? No, he, he ain't gonna save you. He never instructed you to do that. He specifically told you not to marry a divorced woman. And what did you do? Why is he telling you not to marry a divorced woman? Simply this. Guys, you've got to read your Bible. Read um, Deuteronomy. A woman that has been penetrated by another man has been defiled. I didn't say that. That's what the Bible said. She has been what? Defiled. Right? And God don't want no parts of, of, of a woman that's been defiled. Have you ever noticed why Jesus Christ came from, from a virgin from a virgin woman? Why? Because she has not been defiled yet. She had not been penetrated. Right? But you want to marry a woman that's been defiled. Right? Contrary, contrary to what God has told you to do. God is not going to be with you. So if anything happens to that marriage, you are on your own, sir.